Hi everybody, this is Trina at Gaming Angel on Twitter and Instagram and I'm here to show what I do with my monthly um, page. There's before every month there you get the month calendar but before that you get a page that is kind of just sitting there before the month. So what I decided to do starting in July is I um, let me get it all on camera is is that I decided to use the page kind of as use the project life cards and use it as goals and things like that for the month so I want to get uh, right to decorating August and show you how I'm going to decorate it so first um, because it's actually before the August tab as you can see the A there I'm going to use these stickers from Studio Calico to spell out August um, probably don't necessarily have to but um, I think that it because it's not directly like anywhere does it say the month and because I'm using this as a monthly goal um, I'm gonna use it so but you probably don't need to and I wanted to use um, just sticker lettering uh, but I didn't have any lettering that was um, that was big enough and so I had these or or that was in any kind of shade that was close to this color um, so I just figured well I'll use these gray square stickers again my theme is um, to make sure that I use the stuff that I own and since I got these stickers it's about time I use them okay so then I'm going to take this is um, some sticker paper from a set um, I think it's called simple stories but I'm not exactly sure and I'm going to peel it and this is gonna go actually on the bottom I already know what I want to put here I actually want to put pumpkins favorite phrases right now so that I am um, gonna grab a pen uh, so that I remember kind of the funny things she says in the month so I actually need to move this up a little so you can see so and I'm just gonna say Um, and so this month we have, oh boy, oh boy, which I think she got from Donald Duck. Um, we've got up, up, up the hill. And I'm not sure what else, but this way I can fill in with a couple things. And um, she's starting to speak more and more with full sentences and stuff and I just don't want to forget some of these things. Okay, then I used my silhouette to cut this P and I'm just gonna, it's just out of scrapbook paper. So I'm gonna take my scrapbook tape and I'm going to put some sticky tape on the back and affix it to the paper. This is gonna be my monthly kind of savings goals. Um, I'm trying to do the Dave Ramsey type of um, the baby steps. So these are going to be my first baby step. So I'm working on baby step one. Then I got this note card which I really like but it's it's too big for this space. So I'm actually going to cut it down. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now, with these Project Life cards, the reason why I've chosen to use them is because I tend to just have a ton of them. Um, I don't know about you, but they're on sale pretty often, and they look great. They're great to use in the planner as it is, but if you don't use them, then you, they just kind of collect dust. So, I thought this is the perfect opportunity and way to use them to not only list personal goals, and business goals and blogging goals but to also um, kind of add to the scrapbooking of your planner um, get, keep you accountable for what your goals are for the month and get you brainstorming right so that's always good um, so I'm gonna use this top one these are going to be for let's see Uh, these are not, this is going to have to be cut, I think. I want this phrase, 
um, but it's going to have to be cut because I think it's a little too big and then I'm gonna have to round the corners so I'm gonna I'm gonna trim both ends a little bit and uh, I'm not very exact with any of this um, you might want to be a little bit more exact but since these are kind of a note page just for me um, I'm not gonna be too exact with this so then I'm gonna take my I think it's a uh, Friskers is the brand or Friskies or something like that um, does it say it doesn't even have the brand name on here nope so I can't tell you the brand name but anyways so I put my corner rounder there and I've got a round corner and it's super easy which is what I like that's why I've been debating about rounding the corners of my planner because while tedious it's extremely easy um, even for someone who has arthritis like me it's really easy to get incredibly nice rounded corners on a piece of scrapbook paper or like I said or the um, actual uh, planner but we'll see I've seen a lot of people do it went round the corners and it looks really nice I don't know if people round the corners when they're not putting it in a Kiki K or, or something like that and I really don't have plans to take this one apart since I like the rose gold um, but okay so this is my little quote uh, for the month is live out loud and I'm just gonna put instead of separating it out I'm gonna put goals and so one of my goals is to, um, let's see, what are, what are some of my goals? Oh, start health site. So I have a new site that I'm starting that's kind of the same content, but it's just a better place for my content. Um, and it's called My Mom Journey. And that's where I'll cover, like, our trying to get pregnant, um, cover breastfeeding, cover all those, those kind of like mom health things are all going to be there while my normal blogging is going to be at thegamingangel.com. Um, I want to, um, and these can be personal goals as well. So personally, I want to, let's see, what do I want to do? Um, besides saving more, um, and uh, what I did was I joined Every Dollar Counts. Every dollar assigned value. That way I can see where my money is going every month. And then maybe I'll leave some blanks to like continue on through the month. And so that's basically it. I mean, you can put stickers that can um, make you, uh, what do you call it? Um, that can make you incentivized or make you um, inspired uh, let's see because I have a pink theme you know I could put I can put a butterfly here um, here's the, another pink and blue butterfly put one up here so you can do a whole bunch of things and another idea which I may have for next month is you know you could also use this page as well so if you have more goals or more things um, maybe you want to separate maybe I want to separate business goals over here and regular goals here and then it becomes like a two page spread that's got a ton of information about what you want to accomplish with this month with check boxes that might be really cool anyways thank you so much and hope you enjoy this and hope it inspired you for using your monthly page bye